What's up, YouTube? Kevin here, Captain Hooks Fishing. We are at the Tennessee River Park uh, off Amnicola Highway this morning. I'm going to fish off this little pier here. Never fished here before. Didn't feel like getting the boat out. Kind of windy. It's going to blow that little boat all over the place. So I figured I'd come down here and been watching some videos. Some guys catching some pretty good fish down here. I brought my ultralight to catch some bluegill with. Got some crickets and red worms from Jack's Bait and Tackle here in Chattanooga. Gonna hopefully catch us a couple little panfish, float them out here uh, on my big rod, see if we can get us into uh, a few pretty good sized bass. Y'all stick around, let me get everything ready to go. That wind's blowing pretty good right in my face right now, so I'm gonna figure something out. We'll be back. Start off with this little crankbait. shallow diving crankbait but we're right here around the bend from the dam so the water's kind of a lull right here from the bank out about 50 feet or so and then it gets into that current so there's a little current right here but it's a break we'll see what happens Let's see if we can get some bluegill. Trying crickets right now. I'm not the best cricket fisherman in the world. I don't know what it is. I just can't keep a cricket on the hook. I get bit and it's gone. I don't know if it's just the way I put them on the hook. I usually try to go through a meaty section, like the belly or something like that, but it seems like every time I do, like I said, I get bit and it's gone. So we might try another cricket here and then we might go to red worms. So we can keep them on the hook a little better. I guess those little bluegill just, when they get over there next to it, and it just rips it right off the hook. I've had several little bites right on the other side of that tree branch right there. There's a bite. And I guarantee you my cricket's gone already. I mean, it hit the hit the water, bit, and gone. Yep. All right, let me get my red worms out. Let's do some little red worm fish. All right, we're finally hooked up with the cricket. Nice little blue view. Ooh. Sit still. A little bigger than I want. Ouch. A little bigger than I want to use, so we'll let him go. If he'll let me get him off the hook here. Pretty little thing. Go. Back he goes. Be right back. These things fight pretty good down here. That's the first time I've ever fished down here. and They like, they hit and they're gone. Plus, I got that current to help them out a little bit with. And they fight when you're trying to take them off the hook. That's number two today. I just like to catch one a little smaller so I can just soak my other line out under that big bobber with that big four rock hook on it. Nice little little fish. Let's bait back up. That's another one. This one looks a little bit smaller. This ought to be perfect for what I want. Got him out just a little bit deeper. Yeah, that'll work. Let me get him rigged up on my big line over here. We'll be back. All right, we got him rigged up right there on my big rod. Toss him out right in here. 
kind of a lull in the water. You don't really have to cast far. I'm just going to cast it out and see what the current's doing right now. And then once I get it to where I think you ought to hang out pretty good, I'll just go ahead and close my bail. But I'm going to open up my turn my bait runner on anyway. And then I'm going to try to put this back here out of the way. All right, let's watch him. Let's see if we can catch some more bluegill while we're at it. Got the big rod over there with the live bluegill on it. I took the bobber off of it. I'm just going to let him float out there and swim around in that current. Hopefully he'll pick up something. I'm going to just try to catch some more bluegill. At least I'm catching some fish today. Wind's kind of strong, so it's kind of blowing that line everywhere. I'm sure it's going to get hung up somewhere. There we go. Bucket with me. Take my rod over here. I'll be. There we go. I must have hooked that cricket right because he didn't take it. size and I still got my worm. Let me get him rigged up. Be back. I got a little bit on here. I am on cricket. We're catching fish. Feels good. Let's get hooked up again. I swapped him out and I had one that was probably twice that size, maybe a little bigger than twice that size. We'll go a little bit smaller bait. I'll do him the same way. I'm just going to kind of pitch him over the side here. Give him a little room to run there, but not too far. Loosen our drag there. Let's see if maybe a little smaller bait will work today. We'll let him do his thing. We'll go back and catch us some more. Oh man, that thing hit. <laughs> Holy. I don't know if you saw that bobber or not, but that thing just took off. And he's not, he's small as the other one over there. <laughs> man, I was sitting there and that bobber just took off back out towards the current there and shot out through there. Another one for bait. Should have brought my bucket. Alright, into the gill.
There we go. swap him out with this one I got over here that'd be perfect all right I got a little different setup here kind of a drop shot rig these bluegill I'll drop straight down here and see if we can get a little bit bigger bluegill there's a bite A little bit bigger. Got him done here on this dock. On this pier here. I was catching plenty of them over there, but they're awful small, so I thought maybe the bigger ones might be out a little bit deeper water. He's a little bigger. I am go. I'll get another one and be back. Philly nibbling. Yeah, let me get my pliers to get that hook out. I need that hook. On there. Man, look at his gill or his. See if I can get this. Look at that. Looks like something's been eating at it, or I don't know. That's weird. My little one looks fine, but that side there, that's. Huh. Never seen that before. Looks like they're working fine, but. Let's get back in the water. Weird. Might be some of that flesh eating bacteria that's going on or something. I don't know. Huh. Let me get baited back up. All right, we're calling it a day. Had a pretty decent day. We were able to catch some fish today, something we hadn't done in a long, long time. Uh, felt pretty good. It was uh, nice out today. It was probably 75, overcast, big wind, big breeze today. Uh, they had the dam wide open earlier, and it looks like they shut it down. The current slowed down a little bit. But we were able to catch some fish, and that's all that matters. But uh, be a good day at work anytime. Anyway, hope everybody has a great week, great weekend. Uh, if you're not subscribed to Captain Hook Fishing, subscribe, like, share. Let me know you subscribed, and I'll sub you back. As always, have a great week, great weekend, and take a kid fishing.